baked beans and a bean hull. And a bean hull is a hole you dig in the ground, you put fire in it, put the beans in here, put the beans in here, cover it with coals and dirt, and you let it cook overnight. And then the next day it's ready. Go get them. I throw them as far as I can. All right, so today I'm gonna to show you bean hull baked beans. Excited? I am. I am. Here we go. So a raised bed is a perfect place to do a bean hole because the soil is already kind of loose and it'll make it easy to dig. But I, this is a great family project. Again, I don't have kids, but I think it's a good family project. This is also a use at your own risk because it involves fire and dirt and food and overnight cooking. In your garden. Yeah. Vegetables <laughs> at their own risk. I think it's great. <laughs> We want to dig a hole that's about six inches outside of the pot and then six inches deeper than the pot. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now we're going to line the bean hole. You can line it with rocks, rocks that don't explode when they're exposed to fire, by the way. There's some kind of uh, schist like rocks that don't do well with like a campfire. Don't use those, but you could use other kind of rocks to line this. We're going to line it with the bricks from our portable pizza oven because you've all collected your bricks for the portable pizza oven that you guys made, right? If you want to see that video, the link is below or maybe in that, that eye in the sky thing here that at the end of the video or somewhere. Anyway, I'll get you that video somehow. But now we take that out, put brick in. So these are going to go in here. By the way, you also need some kind of metal as well for the top. This is not galvanized, okay? Regular metal. Don't use galvanized. So the brick is going to hold the dirt out of here and also hold heat in. You know, earth is a great insulator as well. The brick adds to that. That looks like a well fit for beans. <laughs> A little half brick. A little half brick goes a long way. Whenever you do anything and you have Labradors, always keep in your pockets ah. two of these. <laughs> Henry! Henry! She momentarily forgot. Okay. Oh no, she went to get her own. Oh, <laughs> here she comes. Come here. Got All right, now it's time to build a fire in the bean hole. That's exciting. I love fire. I know you do. They all know you do too. Be safe, okay? <laughs> Wear gloves. Don't do what I do. <laughs> this is the fall, um, and if you're interested in making maple syrup, I built this really cool sap evaporator. We made a video about it, of course. At the end of the show, we'll link to that or we'll iron the sky thing or in the show notes here. But I got a bunch of scrap wood, like pallet wood and construction scraps, and we're gonna burn that in the bean hole. Here we go. A lot of paper, a lot of small sticks. If your fire's not burning very well, it's time to get out the special tool. So while that's burning down, we want to make coals. Let's take the Dutch oven into the kitchen and put the recipe together, okay? To your pot, you're going to add, these are navy beans or northern beans, northern beans, sorry. I rinsed them. Two big tablespoons of your favorite kind of mustard. A small can of tomato paste. A generous half cup of maple syrup. 
and then four slices of bacon that have been cut up into pieces. I like the scissor method. One roughly chopped sweet onion. Mix this all together. That's really hot. My face is burning. But look at that. Isn't that great. Put the sheet metal next to the fire. And then get yourself some gloves and a shovel. Some super duper gloves that a Garden Fork fan got me. They work great. So now we want to get a lot of these coals out of the fire. Oh, this is really, really cool. It's like, <clears throat> oh, I'm eating smoke. Watch out. This is beautiful. This is absolutely fantastic. So wrap a chain or something like this around the pot and then drop the pot down into the fire. Hopefully it's level. And then let the chain droop drape out the side like that and then take your tin and pour the fire back on top all right it's getting dark out but put your tin over and then cover it with dirt Think it's ready? It's the next day. It is. So last night, the Labrador started to dig this dirt out. Because it smells like bacon, that garden. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I put a temperature probe in here, so I want to see. The dirt's cold. It was hot last night. The dirt's cold it now. It was steamy yesterday. Yeah, so let's see if it has a t still temperature in there. I'm sure there's some temperature. Um, it says high. High? It's, it's over the... Um, Oh, the limit of what is, this of this temperature thing. Do you know what the limit is? I don't know. So uh, I think this is done. I mean, some people leave this 24 hours, but I think overnight we'll see what happens. Why do you think that? Um, just slow cookers usually go overnight. So because I'm impatient, and I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised the bear didn't do you last night. Yeah, I was thinking about whether the bear would come. Do you feel any heat? No, I think the temperature thing was wrong. There's a little bit of heat in there, but not much. Now there's dirt in there. That's okay. Yeah, we're done cooking. So. <laughs> but we're not done <coughs> eating. <laughs> oh, what? Problem? Hot? No, the fire's out. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's steaming in there. Wow. Mmm, let's look at their chops. Wow. Look what we did, Charlie Pop. And you brought a new supply. I brought a bowl. Tennis balls. Everything's good. It is steamy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm really excited. This is so much fun. <laughs> oh, wow. I like beans with, with less liquid than this, so this is more 
but this is baked beans. Uh, and you can taste the bacon and the maple syrup. Get away. <laughs> I think you can smell the bacon and smell the, what else? Maple syrup? Maple syrup, bacon, onions, and mustard. Dogs don't eat onions. And it's called out. This is great. It's breakfast time. You can have beans for breakfast. I said it's okay. <laughs> you can do this. It's so easy. Kids like to build fires. Just do this overnight. And the next day you got lunch, breakfast, or dinner, whatever you want. We just did some, we just cut some trees and stuff. I just hauled some trees with my neighbor and this is perfect to do afterward. So there, there's more of this on Garden Fork. We have like three or 400 videos now. There'll be a link below to watch all the shows. And uh, let me know your thoughts. Have you made bean hull baked beans or outdoor <laughs> cooking in general? This is great. Henry's mesmerized. <laughs>